started farming in earnest uh, when I was 27. Started with a local vineyard, um, installing uh, irrigation for vineyards. Uh, I work at Discovery Vineyard in Alderdale. I've always had an interest in uh, the natural environment growing up as a kid. A theory that I heard often when I was younger um, is that you know need to stress vines to bring out the varietal characteristics or whatever it is uh, that people think it does. But it's true you need to restrict water at certain times of year um, but the old adage that you water after verasion and it dilutes your grapes uh, I think is wrong and I think if you reference Marcus Keller's um, studies at WSU um, he illustrates that point quite well. So in the spring you need to make sure your water profile is totally you know full in uh, in readiness for bud break. So you want to make sure you've got enough water during bloom and set obviously but pretty soon after that you want to shut down your vegetative growth in your canopy because you want to focus the plant's energy uh, to the fruit and not to growing more uh, shoots and leaves so that you do get as much uh, sugar accumulation as you can and uh, get ripe in the later part of the season. But once you shut down your vegetative growth then um, and that's just restriction of water and we go to 20% ET evapotranspiration uh, and we use WSU's website uh, Ag WeatherNet to you know get an idea of how much water we should be putting on our grapes. Um, but once you have your vegetative growth shut down, then we turn back, turn the water back on up to upwards of 70, 75 uh, percent evapotranspiration usage. If we're ever going to install a vineyard, I would always make it uh, able to be machine harvested, pruned, uh, all of the above. But to be able to be ready to accept uh, mechanical everything is very important. Uh, we hope we don't ever have to do that because we like uh, we like, we like the, the attention to detail we can have with uh, hand labor. Yeah, so we like to do western sprawl here. Uh, so we lift the eastern side of the canopy to expose grapes to early uh, morning sunshine. And we do leaf thinning to uh, expose those, that eastern side of the canopy to the early morning sun. Ideally, you leave a shelf over your grapes of leaves that protect it once it hits about 10 o'clock. Leaf thin around the fruiting zone, but not the west side of the canopy, uh, so that you protect the fruit from the sun in the afternoon, but also get good airflow to um, to try to retard uh, powdery mildew growth. True, our western sprawl does not lend itself to mechanization all that well. I think if we were to go mechanized, we'd have to pin up both sides and uh, rethink our uh, leaf thinning methods. I think there'll always be a place for some amount of hand labor um, as far as pruning goes. Uh, it's, you can have a much more even and uniform crop if you uh, have hand, uh, hand pruned vines. Uh, you can get the spurs where you want them and the shoots therefore uh, directed in a, in a position that you like. There's a value in physical work and uh, the satisfaction you get it get from it at the end of the day um, and to see the seasons uh, turn which sounds romantic uh, but it does it I think it kind of uh, grounds you a little more